So in this short video, we will learn how to compile JavaFX application on command line on a Windows platform. Uh, this is our website and we have written a small tutorial text based. So if you are interested, you can come to our website and you can find the links below and you can read it. First of all, we require the JavaFX libraries. Uh, earlier, these were part of the Java development kit, Oracle JDK. Now they are hosted separately by a company called Gluon, uh, from which you have to download the. So you can go to Gluon website from here, or you can do a Google search. It's gluonhq.com, and from there, on the products side, you can find the Java FX. Now scroll down and on the download section, you can see the JavaFX version, the operating system, the architecture and the type. We'll be using the 17.0.2 long term support version. The operating system we will be using Windows, Windows 10 to be exact. And the architecture should be x64, 64 bit platform. And I'm going to use the SDK version, this one. Then you can press the download button. and then wait for the download to start. You can download it in a folder. Here I will be using downloading it on the tutorial website, a tutorial drive like this. And it's around 40 MP, so it will take some time. JavaFX is actually a upgrade to the Swing API, which was, which came earlier with the Java SDK. This one is truly cross platform and can be used on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. And one thing I found about, one thing I like about the JavaFX is that the IDs, I mean the widgets like the buttons and other things that are created using this one is actually cut good. And they look great on all, almost all the power platforms. They also have this JavaFX mobile and for also for the embedded platforms. In this one, we will only be looking at the desktop applications, specifically Windows, and we will learn how to compile the application uh, using command line. The reason we are using the command line option is that when we are using an ID like uh, or Eclipse or the Jetstream's ID, uh, we don't know how the, uh, the your application links with the library. You just press a button and the ID does everything for you. In this thing, in the if we are using the command line, we will learn how the ID is connected to each other. I mean, the application is connected to each other and how you are compiling it, which files are required and what other things are needed. Once you have downloaded the JavaFX libraries, you have to download the JDK, the Java Development Kit, so that you can compile the Java program along with the JavaFX library to create your own graphical user interface. So you can go to Oracle JDK. From there you can download the op Java development kit. Here they are saying it's the latest one is 17. So I think I will download that one. And this is for the Linux one. So for Windows you can take it from here. And I will be using the x64 MSI installer. Then I will download it. So I have downloaded both the OpenJFX libraries and the JDK. Now I have to install the JDK. You can do it by double clicking it. Stick with the default installation directory. That will be much easier. Then we will wait for the installation to finish. So I have downloaded the OpenJFX on the H drive, which is this one. And now I will unzip the OpenJFX.
to that you could rename it to a small name i mean simple name otherwise you have to type the whole thing so i will just name it as open jfx 17 this you can delete it Now I have installed the JDK. Let's start up the command line by typing CMD on the search bar. You can open it and then just type Java C. Version and press enter. Now you can see that the Java compiler 17 is installed and now we can compile the JavaFX library. For that, we are going to create a small folder. We'll call it JavaFX dev, fx underscore dev. First, we'll create a JavaFX source code file. We will call it as javafx underscore stage dot java. So we will copy this name. And now the inside the javafx underscore develop dev folder, we will create a new text file. And rename it as javafx stage dot java, like here. Okay. Now to compile a simple JavaFX application, you have to use this command Java C double align module hyphen path, then path to your JavaFX li library folder. So in this case, our library folder will be like located inside OpenJFX, this folder and this one. So the path will be something like this H. OpenJFX 17 JavaFX SDK 17.02 slash library like that. Then you have to use this add modules, then JavaFX.controls, JavaFX.fxml, and then you have to give the name of your source code, your file.java. In our case, we will be using JavaFX underscore stage dot Java. From the compiled JavaFX application class, you have to do the same thing, but instead of Java C, just say Java. That's all. Now we will create a simple JavaFX application, and for that we go to our website and download this code. You can copy over these things and just copy it and put it inside this JavaFX underscore stage dot Java. So this will be our application that we will compile using the Java C compiler. So you can save this thing and save control S, close it. Then you can go to your command line, type CMD, open it. change directory yeah now we will compile this file using the java compiler for that we'll copy this one java c module path Now you have to provide the path to the JavaFX library, which is OpenJFX SDK library. 
we'll put it like this copy it paste it here add modules java fx controls fxml now you have to give the name of your source code So here we are using Java C, then the module path, then the path to the Java FX library like this, then add modules, Java FX controls, Java FX dot FXML, and the name of our source code. That would be Java FX underscore stage dot Java. Then you press enter. And there are no errors, so we have got a class file, Java FX stage dot class. Now you can run that file using the same thing, but you just change the Java C to Java, like I do here, delete it, delete the C, and then to delete the dot Java, because we are com running the compiled file JavaFX dot stage. Then you press enter. Yeah, we have got our first JavaFX GUI program. You can see that it has written launching JavaFX to the command line. And then you can maximize it. Then you can close it. So when you, when you are closing it, it will print the line finished. That's it. This is how you compile a JavaFX file on Windows using the command line system. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like it please like our video and if you like content con content like this please do subscribe so we find that compiling on the command line is quite tedious as we have to type a lot of commands and other stuff so one way to make it easier is to create a batch file that will do everything for us for that you can create a small text file and call it as compile.bat creating a windows batch file then you can edit it and then you can copy the commands Now you have to give the path then you have to change the source code name Copy it again. This will compile it. The other one would run it. So we will. So remove the Java C to Java. And after completion, we'll be using a class file. So just Java FX stage will be enough. Then we will simply write post. 
save it and close it then we will remove the previous class file now you can double click on compile.bat to compile this file see pause is just for this one so it will not close 